Oh boy. That should be a lot better. A lot better. What is this thing doing over here? Just seeing, because I put it, I got a new camera, new camera. Just trying to get rid of some of this junk on here. Hey guys, can you see me clearly this time? Yeah, I got a new camera and yesterday really messed up. So I was like, I've got to redo this whole thing. There's just no way. There's no way. Right. So... Yeah. So we're going to go over what I tried to talk about yesterday and how that got messed up. So um, I had an, uh, another computer of mine. Um, it was in the shop and it had a nice camera on it. And then I called him yesterday to make sure that he has it out. But also this is actually connected to the landline. So the Wi-Fi just keeps screwing up and I can't do anything about it. You know, it just frustrates me. So, um, in that way of things, I've got to look at this all over again and kind of explain it. So, cause it was so cut out yesterday. People were frustrated. Yeah. So it's not good. This is an older computer, so I'm sure it does different things. So, um, I'm just getting things, how I want to start up on things again. So, and if you guys kind of listened to it yesterday, you know, I'm sorry, but I have to go over the same stuff because it got messed up. So, when I didn't send a notice that I was going to go online. I just needed to redo this. So if it's there, it's there. So these are about, um, I just don't like the word beds because that's, they're, they're saying that's not the name. So I don't know why the bed thing is a big deal. <laughs> um, so we'll talk about the ones that and I know you guys can see this. See these med beds. This is all remote viewing, just so you know. Remote viewing. This is not documented from some doctor or anything like that or any alien species. See. So these are, they have to have energy frequency. It comes below this and it lightens all these up. And these are different, like veils that have to go down on each. Um, different procedure of doing it. So these are all channeled information. So it's just going to take. So, I, and this is a room where you can't visually look at this. You can't, someone laying in there, everything's covered and you just can't be in the same room. Our human eyes can't take this. Can't even take the brightness of it all of it such high frequency it's just crazy what they were showing me about this so that's the um one i kind of showed yesterday and i'm gonna just kind of go over that with the information so 
at the energy of the med beds of healing for humans, the energy, the technical energy of it, some of these devices can't be used on Earth for risk um, of being um, put in the wrong hands. So these, for this to these components to be on Earth, it's going to have to be high security. Sorry, I got two dogs behind me. Um, so, um, with this energy changing and how it works and everything, so I want you to think about that. You now, what would be the risk for this to be here? You know, would it be secure to be here? You know, that's something you have to analyze and think about, you know, um, and that has to partake in the situation when these are on a 3D platform. So some of these machines can't work on the 3D. You know, they were just telling them they just can't. So there's a halfway point that we're gonna have to meet them with this situation. So some of the energy have to, um, cannot, you know, work in that realm. So we have, um, so if there was the evil side, they would try to use it and uh, use it against us. So, and of course they don't want this us to heal you know so this is very this is something that they do not want here um because they are making money off the way they need to make money off of and what spirit has told me about this thing and i'm going to tell you right now it's irritating if you see anything with these so-called devices that someone is trying to charge you to use spirit says it's 100 percent across the board supposed to be free so anybody that thinks they're going to take advantage of the situation needs to be called out on it. I don't care who you are. You should not be charging anybody. They are um, porting, you know, some of these are being used in a higher frequency to help the ones that were below and really got damaged. So they transport them, but they're showing me a gate they have to go through to get to that point of those doors for that treatment as long. So then I talked about this universal line. You know, I got this verified with this universal line that goes through this situation. This is a universal line. It's all the way down to earth, all the way up through this whole line frequency. There's the keys right there. There's a 5D, new planet, all that. Okay, these are where those equipment could be. Um, so with that universal line, when I started drawing that um, system, knowing that it has to be connected in some way with that, um, like an energy that goes through space in a different way, and it um, somehow it's connected to a lot of planets. So I don't know what I'm going to get. I just give you what I get when it happens. So, and that was the, the situation with this. So the understanding of what type of devices they have, um, I just do the remote viewing and they only present to me what I get. I do not try to tell you something that I don't see. So I'm just telling you what I'm getting. So I just see this potential of uh, travel is limited, um, I'd say, to government and special cases of children that I, I think that that is traveled outside our atmosphere to make sure that that's taken care of in special cases. It hasn't gotten to a point here, you know, um, when I, I have seen these remotely that they would have these like kiosks or you know, just little centers that they would have these um, in nationally everywhere. And then when the comes of these being used, so, you know, there's bigger, uh, no procedures, no type of uh, wounds or recovery time. So you're not going to need those buildings that they have for the old ways anymore. So things are going to change with that. So the treatment and everything. So I think you'll see that on the days coming. So that we're talking about the universal line. 
on this. Yeah, people got to eat too. Um, so, so let's say it used to be that the form of understanding of sickness, and we're talking about animals too, like we're not the only ones, other spirits on the other side, when they saw this transformation going on, they want to be part of it too, that have not crossed over animal sickness, their, their whole level of understanding too, they want to be well as well as they can be too. So I think it's not just us, you know, those, these toxins in the body and the poisons and all that stuff that has to be um, removed, you know, from the soul and the animal wants to be free of it too. Cause, uh, I, I don't think people understand, um, sometimes with the soul of the animals, they're more important than you think. Um, they're, you know, of their intentions of being here. People think, you know, animals, an animal, it's not, there's a, there's a big, um, scenario of spirituality with animals. So you kind of need to look around and go, what else needs to be healed on this planet besides us, you know, because we've done a lot of damage on this planet and created a lot of havoc. That's going to take a lot of time, but I'm just saying, look around too. There's not just humans that are at risk, you know? So, um, so for the good of the animals to be, you know, uh, transported to, you are not the only living thing on this earth. You know, it's something we should think about. So, and that's what I get with spirits. You know, they were, we were going into um, understanding 4D and 5D. You know, they're excited on that side too, of not being trapped in a, a situation of not being recycled over and over, of being free of it. I think it was important to them on that scenario of things. So it's important. So. I don't think I'm having more internet issues right now. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, so, you know, it's important, you know, for everybody to heal. And, you know, we get to a certain point with things for treatment. And, you know, so I think it's important. So let's go into the second drawing I did for another device. But this was, I resided with this in a lot because... Um, if you are in our atmosphere traveling and you're going on excursions or you're traveling or doing stuff, you know, I think you remember the movie alien, right? And you know how they, they brought them in the craft and then all of a sudden you had the thing inside them. So that this is just kind of remind me of that movie just a little bit, you know, that it's, it's a standalone med light energy frequency so you're standing alone um same thing but this is you're kind of it's it's uh, like 30 minutes of of uh, concentration and you go into this before you get into this, to this ship area so they stand alone med light for a type of damage to the cells on the top surface of the skin directed target pinpoint with no scarring or bruising so no open procedures almost like talking to the cells and removing the damage in the areas of and then all of a sudden they were talking about removing memory that didn't need to be there so uh this this one really resided with me and made sense you know everybody was worried about it goes where's the one that does all the um procedure for cosmic and then um cosmetic and you don't have to be the age that you want to be. I'm like, that's all you're worried about. I'm worried about age, you know, and I haven't gotten to the ones of making, um, arm limbs. I haven't, they haven't showed me this one. They've, they're, those are the two that they've showed me. So this is definitely more of your cells and something that's uh, in the blood that should not be in the blood. So if you went into a di this different atmosphere and it would be affecting you and you wouldn't know if something was in you, this would tell you right away. I thought this was, you know, pretty smart on this one. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty interesting the way they show me standing up in it and um, how, how do you explain this to you? Everybody thinks they're asleep in it. I don't see that. 
So I just feel you're in a different conscious state, but it does go into the da uh, damaged areas. I think I'm going to go back into this one because I'm really into the cells situation of remote viewing more information on that one. Um, so, I mean, that's part of the one that uh, they showed me recently. So, you know, and on that is different. Uh, this is the thing about me. You know, I like things to get verified. And when I when I write things, I just wait for the clarification to come in. I can tell you right now, I'm not I'm not diving into anything that's happening here when it comes to information. I completely I, I don't care because it's not viable information. <laughs> and so I just wait for spirit to show the truth. So um, and that's why with anything when I've done predictions of storms or information. I only take what is supposed to be meant for me. And um, and I, I think it's hard for people to understand the way my mind processes information that is important. So I'll give you a, a, um, I'll give you an example like yesterday. There's a case I've been working on. I'm out of the blue. I started drawing this picture of this, this kid and then this was an old case and about going back, we needed another person involved in the case that was a weak uh, person that would speak. And all of a sudden I started just drawing this uh, guy, right? And we have documentation where he was at that time and everything. So I never know when this comes on of information and I have to give it in the direction that it needs to go in. So I'm working on this one pretty hard and Hopefully we're, it's our last chance to open the door, you know. Um, so spirit presents things at the right time. And then it's up to us to follow through with that information. And sometimes, or I say a lot of the times we don't do that as humans. We tend to blow it off, but it leads up to direct understanding. So in the time and age that we are changing so fast right now and technologies is changing, it's really good, like I said, to stay away from media bar and back up. Okay, because you guys don't understand the stuff that's going on at night. The process is happening. Um, uh, if you really back up from that, you're going to be calmer in the situation. Um, and the spirit had me in a fear mode, which they, you know, I was pretty upset maybe three and a half years ago, uh, especially any type of child. I don't feel that no more. And I believe there's a bigger source behind this is making sure things are getting done. That's beyond man. And um, it's being taken care of. And so um, that's why I teach to listen to yourself and your own instinct and in this process of things. So I think I got about two more med beds or whatever you want to call them devices that I'm seeing and um, I'm going to talk about. Tomorrow I'll be going into mediumship in a very uh, technical way and uh, techniques and understanding with mediumship. Yeah, I have some new camera. Computers hooked up to the landline so it was the only way to do it out here. Um, so, and then I did forgot to tell you guys. So inside this, see, I, I drew this and it's like crystallization. And they were saying, we can't heal from these or any type of bed unless we had a little bit of this inside of us. This is a type of a form of a crystallization and almost like how you see water and there's a, uh, runoff of water and how it uh, metabolizes, in a, you know, hard water deposits. So we have deposits of crystallization, they're saying, in our system. Um, and so this works really well as these, the center of them are created. And then this is how I see it as I'm looking down into it. And it's circulating and energy is coming out of it. So... It's uh, 
pretty neat on when they show you stuff like that. I mean, I have some unusual projects I'm working on and um, I just completely uh, host and write down what I'm getting. I do not try to add to it. So um, now the vaccination, uh, maybe the first two, but I don't think the third one. So um, anyway, so with that situation, um, I'm in December, I'm just thinking it's a better positive way to just buy cards and do stuff like that because I think December is going to be a kind of unusual, it's not going to be a normal Christmas. And then we have the stuff going on, but we have bigger stuff going on too. And there's going to be a lot of things that fold together on information that they already are. Um, and so um, I think with a lot of our body healing and going through a lot of stuff, I mean, within five year period, you're going to see a lot of different stuff, technology, and it's going to change, you know, and it, don't be afraid of, applying yourself to that, doing something new, because they've always had the mechanism in their own body to use those to um, heal. So um, I'm looking forward to a lot of, especially financial change. That's going to be, you guys are going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. I'm telling you. Um, so that's going to be a good thing. And uh, when I started this YouTube, it was the fact that I don't start something unless I finish it. I don't open a door unless I can close it. I just wanted to take everything, all the information, and be able to expose it to you and you applying it here. Not someone taking control of it or dominating it or using it as a, uh, a device. I wanted to just lets you use your own ability in your own way. I think that's what spirits always wanted from the beginning. So I definitely uh, think things are changing in a positive way and I also think that uh, California better get ready. <laughs> better get ready. And the winter's going to be quite different and cold and icy and unusual. So don't, I think your normal system from the past is not going to be your normal system. So you will see stuff, like I said, turning our world inside out. We are super, superly in that um, task of understanding what's going on. So, um... See, the reason why I don't want to uh, record these is because I think sometimes in the moment is the most important thing. And recording them just feels like your recording's on here. And I don't want to do that. That's why it's always live. Whether it's screwed up video in the back, but you're seeing the truth. And get ready. You buy a lot of canned goods. <laughs> Blankets. Um hear a lot of rumble at night. Um, everybody wants a timeline. You know, it's funny. It's not, it's a check. It's a check. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. It's not time because the things have to be checked off and done. But I can tell you we're at a good percentage of that checklist getting there. We are at a good percentage. So, um, when this procedure started happening with this whole event, I felt spirit around me all the time, just feeling like holding the support and everything. And now they're kind of laying back a little because I feel they're a little more relaxed about what's going on and what they're seeing. Yeah, so yeah that, that is the dog that whines a lot. Um, so as soon as... Um, I felt that backing up, that means that things were getting in place the way they need to and balance was coming in, energy was coming in. Let's see her. 
she's just trying to get attention. <laughs> see, you see this? <laughs> hilarious. So, um, so anyway, that's what I came on here to do. Just kind of go over the information I could not get related to yesterday. No, she is attention hog. If I let her out right now, she'll be in my lap <laughs> looking at you people. You want to see? I'm going to show you this. Just to show you guys. I'm not kidding. Look at that. She's just has to. She's a lover. These are these golden retrievers, but they love attention. Huh? I know. Okay. So, and my son's got her spoiled all the time. That's the whole thing. It's all the time. So, so anyway, I'm gonna be on here tomorrow night, going over mediumship and details of information, and I'll be writing that out. So. I wanted to come back on here and uh, go over that because I know you guys were frustrated yesterday and I was too. I was just like, the live kept going and going. And everybody's like, Jen, you're in signal and it's still going. And I couldn't shut it off. It was just like, what's going on? So, yeah. So, anyway, I will be on tomorrow talking about mediumship. If you guys need anything, you know how to contact me for Humble Healing remote viewing, mediumship, readings, all that stuff. You know where I'm at. I'm not going to overly push it, but I will be on here tomorrow about the same time doing the mediumship information. Okay? Take care, you guys. See you later. Bye.